Uh, we got to get back to work here. Um, uh, on the line right now is Kim Myers. Of course, she's running for Congress. Seat currently being held by Congressman Richard Hanna. And there's been a lot of news. It's the home stretch. It's getting uh, a little nasty out there. And good morning, Kim Myers. Good morning. How are you? Good. We've been seeing your ad in the uh, in the Observer Dispatch. We get to see that one. Uh, what? Not my ad? Well, it's the uh, it's the Dick's ad that um, that was the point I was making we earlier. Kinda, right, we're kind of saying is that uh, is it a political ad? Is it a di- so talk about that the decision uh, Dick's made to come out and uh, defend their their record from some of the accusations that are being levied against them. Well, I, I think you said it each in one of those sentences. Uh, it's not a political ad. It's a. Uh, nationwide company as any company facing false attacks from a politician trying to advance their own career certainly can and should yeah. independently defend their brand uh, especially a company with such a gr- great brand and commitment to our community as dick sporting goods it's 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 very clear what that ad is and uh personally i couldn't be more proud of dick sporting goods and the job creations that that we have created since 1948 and certainly the jobs that we're creating uh here in broome county 450 jobs in the next year and a half so uh you know when you have attacks like that that are just blatantly outright lies against a company that's what a successful company does yeah, yeah. Is, is they make sure that their brand is, is protected did you ever expect that uh getting into this race that you would have to defend dick sporting goods I certainly did not, yeah. considering what our company uh, is, what it's grown to be, how it's grown. Uh, my siblings and I bought it from my dad, and we had everything on the line. Our homes, every dime that we had was tied to creating and growing that business. And to be called uh, an heiress, is, it, it makes us chuckle for, for a while until we realize that uh, uh, these are just blatant, mean-spirited desperate attacks uh, on a company that has done nothing but but been a outstanding corporate citizen. I think the, uh, what is the ad in the paper today, say uh, 99% of your workforce is here in the United States. 99% of the taxes you pay are to federal, state, and local governments in the United States. And invested 99% of your capital in the United States. 100% correct. Um, and then, uh, but earlier it was that, um, I guess it was about the jobs earlier. And now that the charge is that you've taken a, a great deal of money to create a facility in, uh, in the Southern part of the, of the district. And it was political. Do you want to address that? Yeah, that, uh, if this wasn't such a, a, a serious election and this wasn't a, such a serious charge, it would be pretty laughable because it is a stretch beyond a stretch that, Clearly, my opponent has no concept how economic development works, has no concept how business works. To think that a endeavor such as uh, Dick's putting a $100 million facility and going to employ 450 people could be put together from the time of March when I announced my uh, candidacy for Congress and uh, the announcement in June. Um, so you didn't, you didn't just, just say, just say a big company can't move that fast. I know for a fact, New York state, uh, it can't move that fast. So you didn't whip this up in June. I, I, I did not. And I, <laughs> I, just I didn't whip up anything, but, um, you know, kudos if somebody really thinks that, you know, business and like I said, and especially government can move that fast. Yeah. Uh, I find it again, it's not laughable, but you know, in the privacy of our, our own home, it is a little bit, uh, you do chuckle a little bit when, uh, if, you know, the, somebody wanted to um, seriously look at the, this issue, which most medias are not seriously looking at, at this I- issue. You should drive down here and see that the foundation is in, the walls are up, and construction has begun. Yeah. And um, are, is, are those bulldozers and everything going to stop next Tuesday if I don't win? I, I hardly think so. But uh, when you're desperate, I guess you'll say anything. Um, okay, your final plea here for uh, for... The, this long race that it is that it has been the the final plea for the voters. Well, it, 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 uh, thank you for that, and it's not so much a plea; it's a, a, a note of gratitude. That uh, thank you for all the support I've received from so many people in the 22nd, and the, the amount of time that I've been up in uh, Utica and Oneida. 
the outpouring from Democrats, Republicans, everyone who have recognized me in restaurants and as I've gone to different places and who have said, we're behind you, you've got to win this, yeah. has been so encouraging. And I just can't wait uh, to be the next congresswoman for the New York 22nd and set, set up my office in Utica and start getting to work to serving all the people of the 22nd. And I urge every citizen to get out and vote on right. November 8th, and I humbly ask for their vote. All right, Kim Myers, thank you so much for taking the time, and good luck, and uh, it's almost over. Thank you very right. much. Have a great day.